So basically what's going on is... Uh, So that's the rhythm that we're using here for this. And uh, this particular rhythm involves, again, muting is a very important part of rock and roll and the blues. Since we're rocking the blues, I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. We're in the key of B, and uh, we're doing this, this figure here, which is a, a classic rock blues figure. Now, if you were in the blues, it would sound something like this. But as we know, when the blues had a baby and they called it rock and roll, you sped it up, put four on the floor, and it ends up sounding. Now that has a distinct Texas Stevie Ray Vaughan kind of feel to it, doesn't it? But it came, it started way back before that, back in the 50s. So we're in, we're gonna do a, we're doing a one, four, five progression. Right. What I'm doing on the lead side of it, I'm doing these kind of Chuck Berry licks, you know. Now that's very identifiable, isn't it? It's an old rock and roll kind of riff. Let me break that down for you and then we'll go over what I did uh, piece by piece. So you got your, you're in your B position here on your seventh fret, you got your Chuck Berry position. And then what you're doing is, uh, it's a great old lick. You're bending, you're coming in with your, your uh, seventh fret B lick. And then you're coming over here with your third finger. So you're hitting that E position. And then a half step up, which we've used so many times. So if you put those together with kind of a, you know, you got kind of a, a funky stop. And then I get into a. So it's kind of a swing feel. So what I'd like to do now is go back to the, the track and kind of disassemble some of the leads I did. Here's a good one. See ya. Just following the chord. Back to, up to E. And then to your F sharp. That's how I did my turnaround. I went to it from an F sharp. And then get you right back to your B, your, your root. 